Chicken wings come in all shapes and sizes. And to be totally honest with you, I like pretty much all of them. And that's why I'm gonna make all of them. And I'm gonna start with a pretty common flavor, but one that you may not have as much as barbecue or buffalo. Let's make some Parmesan garlic wings. I'm actually making this kind because recently my buddy, the Golden Balance, sent me a message telling me that he discovered the best new wing flavor. That it was literally better than anything he could remember making. All right, hear me out, Nick. Last time I made some Parmesan garlic chicken tenders, they were absolutely incredible. Obviously, you could pair the sauce with some wings if that's what you prefer. Just make sure you use some really high quality Parmigiano Reggiano. It's nice and salty, as you know. Some good quality fresh garlic. Roast it up with a little bit of butter. Toss it in with some QP mayo. Absolutely incredible. I'm sure you got your little spin on it. A little Chef Boyardio over there, but they're gonna be great. Try them out, show everyone how you make them your way. You will not regret. So I figured why not give it a shot? We're gonna start by using drums. I know a lot of people say these aren't wings, but they are. And more importantly, they're better for several reasons. First, they have more meat, so you get to eat more. And second, and more importantly, their bulbous shape allows for a crispy exterior and a really juicy interior. To begin, let's tenderize our chicken drums. Drop them into a bowl, then cover them with equal parts buttermilk and pickle juice. Looks like a pickle found his way in there. Allow this to brine for at least half an hour at room temperature. While a chicken's brining, we'll start with a few cups of potato starch. I use this because it's far crispier than flour. If you don't have potato starch, you can even use corn starch, rice flour, a number of things. Just don't use flour to fry. Now I'll go with a few splashes of chili powder, a sprinkle of garlic powder, a little paprika, some fresh cracked pepper, and a little bit of salt. We'll take our mini whisk because we all know that size doesn't matter and whisk it all up. Try to get out all the clumps. And if you don't see even speckles in your seasoning, maybe add a little more of whatever you're missing. Shake off any excess liquid on your wings and toss them in the dredge. Shake your bowl around just a little bit, then remove your wing and tap off any of the excess dust. Then your wings are ready to fry. To start, we'll fry our wings at 325 Fahrenheit for about six minutes. Gently drop in each wing. I like to double fry my wings, so this first round of frying at 325 is to really cook the wing through. Our second round will be at 375, and that's when we get nice and crispy. Once your oil hits 375, place them back in till crispy and golden brown. While we let our chicken rest for a minute, we'll crush a head of garlic and really finely mince a few cloves of garlic. Let's add our wings. Grate a whole bunch of Parmesan cheese. Frankly, I really feel that you shouldn't be holding back at this point. Parmesan cheese can't hurt here. I am absolutely gonna shower these babies in cheese. Shower these babies in cheese. Then get some minced garlic right over the top of these. We wanna work fast here because when we toss it, we want the cheese to melt. And finally, just a few chopped chives. You could also use parsley for this part. Toss these bad boys around just a little bit. Well, I mean, it looks good. I think that goes without saying, but there's really only one way to find out. I mean, yeah, that's really good. If you're gonna make these, really get that nice Parmesan cheese and make sure that that salt in there is balanced out well across the wing. I'd also recommend tossing a little bit of melted butter over the top before you grate the Parmesan over and put the garlic. And if you wanna be a real pro, roast your garlic first too. With that said, highly recommend. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. There's a lot more where this came from.